Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. I can, you go to participants. No, wait, no, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I can just scroll, if you just like scroll to the right. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Just, now just I can see better with you guys. I can see better with you guys now. Yeah. It's like playing Mario Kart. It. No, do you have it? that app on your phone? <laughs> I do. I, I downloaded. I downloaded the Zoom app on my phone. No, the Mario um, Kart app. Oh no, no, no! I don't. I, Guys, download I it and then know. download it and then add me as a friend. Oh, you can like play people. I'm. Is it free? Yeah, it's free and it's incredible. Okay, I might do that because that that sounds fun. Eric, what what's your what's your schedule like right now? Um, so I go to work. I don't go to work until seven thirty, but my sleeping schedule has been really fucked. So I've been like asleep around like nine thirty and like waking up at like five for no reason. Oh wow! And, like, not being able to go back to sleep. Well, that's so I'm just still kind like, of, like stuck. That's in this. eight hours. That's still like yeah, a fair exactly. amount of sleep. Though. That's yeah. That's the, that's the bad part. It's like I get my sleep, so it's like hard to adjust it because like. Oh, so like I'm, I'm, okay, I'm awake so, since I'm awake from like four or five a.m. So by the time like mm-hmm. eight and nine rolls around, I'm just like exhausted already. Yeah, no, I feel that. What's like like theoretically, if you went to bed at like eleven, would you still wake up at like four or five? Like yeah, it's happened. It's oh, happened a couple okay. times. Yeah. Okay. I've known yeah, you to yeah. be, no, always be an early riser, Eric. Yeah, it's it's not my choice. I hate it. <laughs> I really do. Once I'm <laughs> once I'm awake, like I I have so much trouble going back to sleep. Not the non chosen is Jesse uh, like that? We're, we're opposites sometimes, yeah. Like, usually, she like she has trouble like going back to sleep, but she'll sleep like all morning. I don't know, it's weird, but then sometimes she'll sleep just like at the same time as me and then wake up at the same time as me. Mm. She's she's a more fluid sleeper. I kind of like have my schedule and like it just doesn't change, yeah. I got you. I'm like, so I used to be very like set in a schedule, but then when like I started working like a fucked up shift, I realized that I was able to like fall asleep at any time and like, Mm. but like fall asleep at any time and get the sleep I needed, which I'm very lucky (laughs) to be able to do. So, um, but yeah, I feel you, man. My dad, like he, he's an early riser. Like, so like he, and he knows that, so he's like, I can't go to sleep anytime past this time because I know I'm gonna wake up at mm. like five a.m. regardless. So, yeah, it's the it happens. <laughs> yeah, dude, but it's, I feel like it's an old man thing, and I'm just like, I I'm you're too, an old I'm man, too, Eric. What? I'm too young for this, man. <laughs> no, Eric, you're on that Mark Wahlberg <laughs> schedule. <laughs> It's Mark Wahlberg's schedule. He wakes that, up at like I don't know anything. He wakes up at like four or five in the morning to work out and then like get his golf strokes in and then like does like a million other things. And then like goes to bed <laughs> at like eight thirty. Yeah, something like that. Honestly, Man. like Marky Mark, where's his funky bunch these and days? And the bunch and the funky bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Was there anybody prominent in the bunch? Marky Mark. I, a bunch of people, probably. I'm gonna look it's it just, up. Imagine a time where Mark Wahlberg is only known as a musician and an underwear model. No, nah, these guys wouldn't know it. <laughs> what I mean, we could put a year on it. What <laughs> there was a year in which that was the case. What year crazy. is that though? Crazy, crazy time. These guys went nowhere. Time. What year what year were they active? What year was the funky bunch active? Ninety one to ninety three. Wow. wow, they're early I 90s. Like, I didn't realize that. I feel like that was so much more recent than I thought it was. So I don't know why I was thinking it was like the 80s. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. No, I thought it was the 90s, but I thought it was like later 90s for some reason. 91, was... 93 is like, that's like early 90s, man. Like early 90s, I feel like we're different than late 90s. You no. Know? Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. you're still like, you're just getting out of the 80s and like it's usually the end of the decade when you're like peak that decade you know what i'm talking yeah. about yeah like, i mean just like imagine, old fashion yeah imagine like the difference between like 2011 and 2019 you know yeah like they're pretty they're pretty different like yeah, pretty stark <laughs> yeah like i mean maybe, I, I wonder, in 2011 <laughs> yeah 
but the crazy thing is though is like because like we were younger then so like obviously i feel like things seem a lot different for us over that like age range but i wonder like for people who are older you know like interesting for us now because we're all in like our 20s now like it's 2021 like will we really feel this like the same amount of difference Mm. between 2021 and 2029 that we did between 2011 and 2019 i don't know we have to experience it to know for sure but it's something i think about sometimes i think it's like that is yeah yeah that's awesome no i mean i i don't know what are you thinking about that a lot now (laughs) don't like overthink about it but like it's it's something that that's all i do is overthink (laughs) all right yeah i feel that Hmm. well you know what we can think about it and uh on sunday (laughs) we can uh (laughs) we can see we can we can determine what we think if it will if it's because like 20 like the two i guess it would be the 2010s right the 2010s it felt like a like a rapid change was that because, you know, we were younger and like more things are changing about us or we perceive more change around us or, you know, compared to, you know, this, this decade, it'll be That's interesting. A good point. It'll be interesting. We can also try and predict uh, what's going to be popular and what's, what's going to be like something oh, that we look back on. That would like be, what's something that... What's something that's popular now that in 10 years we'll look back on and be like, what the hell? hopefully coronavirus like, like, we could, <laughs> like back and they'd be like oh remember that well i was like my, <laughs> me and my brothers were getting into the argument about like what's millennial and gen z like what defines all that and i truly jake i truly think that you me and my brother alec and like we're born 96 right you're 96 yeah, yeah i'm 96 we were in such a t- tight window of like to me a millennial is someone who didn't go outside and played as their kid because they had like ipads that to me is what a millennial is where people like you and i we that came like just a couple well, years later so what what technically are we like what, I think no, what you guys are millennials i think we fall millennials under are like, yeah millennials are like in their 30s for the most part <laughs> so yeah no so i always like, like, to, like to 90s, a millennial maybe what I don't know is like, like the, cause I'm pretty sure there's like an age group below us. And that's where I get confused. Like, where's the cutoff for that? Cause I always thought like we were supposed to be well, like, every, we we're millennials, you know? So every, everyone has a different source and they have a different timetable, but the problem is there's no rhyme or reason to the delineation. Like there's a 25 year stretch of baby boomers. And then there's like a 17 year stretch of something else or whatever. Like I thought the, I thought um, generation X was just the nineties. No, it like starts at 65, 1965. And through like, that's not 87. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, I, that's what I, I said, Jake. Gen Z. All right. So then Gen Z I, are the kids younger than us? Then? Gen Z. They, that, I identify as Gen Z. From what I just saw, Gen Z was what 1997. Year were you born in, Eric? 98. 98. Uh-huh. Yeah. What I what I usually hear is that like Gen Z is like if you don't remember 9/11, like you're Gen Z. Like if you remember 9/11, oh, that's you're, a, you're, you're, a, you're a millennial. Like that's the, I ba- that's but see, the like, cutoff that I hear. I barely remember it. I was yeah, five. I barely. I barely remember. I just remember my mom I mean, being upset. Because her uh, birthday's well, on 9-11. So uh, she was like... That's so that's cause... why yeah. she was upset, Jake? <laughs> Give her yeah, a little it was credit. her birthday, dude. Like, and like, you know, like... Not that's like a... I mean, imagine being like a full-ass ad- like adult. Oh, I'm not allowed to curse for when we... Yeah. Is that a thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like... I'm no swearing. Put a put in the <laughs> swearing jar. <laughs> but like, imagine being like a full adult and experiencing that like i was i was four or five years old you know like i barely have a recollection of it like you see like images of it on tv and stuff but like imagine seeing that live you know what i think i think i would have been or experiencing it or experience yeah no i'm sure i think i would i think it would have taken me a really long time to like go places yeah oh yeah because do you remember that show homeland remember that when that was a big deal yeah dude my parents love that show i used to watch it with them a little bit I, i was watching it when it was on and then, like, after, like, the first couple seasons, I would, if I went to the mall, I'd always be looking over my shoulder because I thought, like, a secret terrorist was behind me. 
So, dude, imagine if I witnessed 9 11 and I was like aware of it. Dude, what was I'm going glad on. you didn't actually witness it then. Because I told you I always overthink. <laughs> 2010. Or what do you think is going to be a better decade? 20, the 2010s or the 2020s? <laughs> We're already oh, off to a pretty good start. 2020's off to a slow start. start. <laughs> it's off to a slow start. I will admit that. But but like, there's going to be like a chain re- like There's a lot of potential. It's only 2021. There's I know, but so, yeah. so many things went wrong already that it's going to take so many years to like deal with it. And then there's like going to be like residual effects. Like, yeah. Not to get super political, but like this bill, like when do you think we're going to pay? The, when do you think we're going to get out of that hole? What, what bill? The, the like the... The one, the trillion dollar coronavirus bill or whatever. All I know is I'm getting 14k. Word, bro. <laughs> Some allowance money from from Mr. President. 14k, <laughs> Mr. B. <laughs> Mr. B, Daddy Biden, <laughs> Daddy Durant. Da- <laughs> I'm gonna say Prince Biden and the hyena. <laughs> so, no, oh, dude. I don't know. I mean. I don't know. I think I, while everyone makes, like, I mean, yes, while the 2020s have been off to a slow start, I mean, I don't know. I still got hope. Still got some optimism. Maybe it's false optimism. No, I like that. We should all be optimistic. Yeah. You know. But that 14K check, though, it's going to be nice. <laughs> you should get a new guitar. I should get a new guitar. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> no, I should, dude. I, you should, get two, is, I should get two new guitars. I should get two new guitars. What's wrong with the nothing, Strat? I mean, nothing's, nothing's wrong with the Strat. It's just like, I don't know. Like, something's wrong with the pickup, I think. Like, the pickups. I don't know. Yeah? I think it could be I the probably, cable, dude. The ca- The, the what? instrument? The guitar cable? Like, the strings? No, the cable. The, plug, the thing that you plug into the guitar to plug into the amp. Oh, yeah. That's messed up, too. That's that's usually what. Yeah, it is. I, no, I was talking about something like different than that. Like it's like um, I don't know. Like I don't. Know, it it just looks wrong. Oh really? <laughs> like it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't sound wrong, but it just looks wrong. So I don't know. I have had it for a while, though. You know, like it's, it's been nice. It was. It's not. It's a Fender, dude. Can't beat it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like it's kind of done some weird things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you Might be time for a new one. If you do it, is it haunted? It could be haunted. If you do want to get a new we... one, I... so no, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was gonna say something dumb. <laughs> I was gonna be like, we what didn't ask the new? people at Guitar Center if it was haunted or not. So <laughs> they could have sold me a haunted. Sorry, Fender. I love to derail serious conversations. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you do want to get a new one, I would love to go on that trip. That guitar center trip. Oh yeah, dude! I was I haven't been in a guitar center in a really long time. No, not since the pandemic. I haven't been. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been once since the pandemic. Even before that, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been. But I had no I reason to go. Word, um, for my for my girlfriend for Christmas. Oh, that's you got awesome. what? I got uh, Jesse a keyboard for Christmas. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, Russ, I was telling you, I acquired a free keyboard. Right? Yes. Yeah. Have I you didn't, been using I didn't it? A, uh no <laughs> but i want to i have it i have it i think um, when so you said that a, that's on the that's on the burner on when the, you said the... that that inspired me to get my old um blue man group keyboard <laughs> out oh from a, the basement is that re- wait what <laughs> yo check I this out that. wait how did you have that i know right exactly there? what that <laughs> is I, ha- I brought it up to my room check this out ready oh my god i'm so excited no you mean like the ping pong paddles <laughs> dude what dude that's sick do you have like the like the slime they threw at people too like the... <laughs> no didn't come to slime but it came with a place to put your mp3 player what so you can play ipod touch songs. ipod mini <laughs> no the nano son iPod oh nano, nano okay we're, we're talking way back uh, okay like before 2010 even oh right? way before no, nah, like 2008, like 2008, 2007, 2008, 2007, 08 was like a good, that was like a good solid time period. I feel was like. that middle school for us? It was. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like, like, um, 
I don't know, like something about like, you can like reminisce on like 2007 or 2008, maybe. There was I don't some know. Cool stuff going on. <laughs> I don't really know though. Like I like have vague memories of it all. But it was, I feel like it, it was, was okay. a, it was by far a different world than what we live in now, which is wild to think about. Yeah, imagine like AirPods. Like, what are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> but yeah, AirPods are a good invention too. AirPods Max. What is that? Is that the new AirPod? No, it's the, they... that's the mascot. No, <laughs> Max. <laughs> we're the we're the South Just the AirPod AirPods. with arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> the that's fighting the AirPods. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Apple. Apple. <laughs> the malfunctioning AirPods. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of. I'm scared of. I'm scared if I get like sweaty and they're in, they're gonna uh, create like an electric shock and it'll go through my ear holes and into my brain. Sorry, dude. I've never even thought about it like that way. No, I'm scared. (laughs) It's okay. I'm not scared. Yeah. Cool. (laughs) I'm sure they accounted for that. They did all the testing. They they should like because people run in them, you know, and like work out in them. So. I don't know. I skateboard in them every once in a while, but they honestly they still like fall out. So, you know, like so, if you fall, they're gonna fall out of your ears. I went running with mine, and um, the wind. I get I run so fast that like the wind is like making loud noises, <laughs> and Siri always thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> oh, dude! I'll do like a sprint. You gotta run slower. You gotta run slower. Because I do sprints. That's slow down the rust, man. I did like a sprint, <laughs> and she was like, "What was that?" <laughs> I'm like, "I'm trying to listen to Diamond Head. Get me in the zone." It's like I don't understand. <gasps> <laughs> do you still go on runs, Jake? Oh, uh, every once in a while. Um, I've kind of like slid down on it a little bit. Like when the pandemic first started, I was going on runs a lot, just like because mm. I could be outside. Do like, yeah. I don't know. I was like bored as hell, so I was going on runs a lot. But I don't know. I'll I'll like I'd say I go on like a run every other week. Just when I'm feeling it, like some days when I have too much coffee and I'm just like I can go on a run. Yeah, and that, it's a good way to like get the coffee out of your system. I'll tell you what. Like, how's the weather down there? Dude, it was like 70 degrees down here today. It was really nice. It was really nice. I was like going crazy, like in an office all day. I was like, oh, Mm. outside. I did take my lunch break outside. Yeah. No, I skateboarded for like 20 minutes on my lunch break. It was pretty sick. I came (laughs) back. I came back. It's in like my car. I have it in my car. I keep it in my car. Oh, cool. Cool. Dude, Um, what if you, what if you like broke your wrist or something? Then you had to walk back into work. Like, that is a fear of mine. I'm not gonna lie, but I so I try to like not do anything if I'm skating during my lunch break. Um, I try to not do anything where like I could potentially get hurt. Like I try to just stick to what I know I got and like is like relatively yeah. risk free. Um, but I will say this one day I don't know. I was like feeling so good. Um, it's like probably about a month ago it was like a warm february day and i was just like feeling so good during my lunch break i was like you know i'm gonna try to like do this one thing that is kind of like i've done before but like you could get the the fall potential is definitely there yeah it's it's like so hard to explain but it's like this rounded rail that um they kind of put over this like dirt mound but like one end is on the concrete and the other end is on like another end of concrete Uh, and like so it's kind of sketchy like you're just like on this rail in midair and i've done it like a bunch of times before um but what you need to do to like just to get over it because it's like a round like it's like a round rail like it's like like think of it like a rainbow like almost like a rainbow rail oh okay like an arch yeah, like an arch. Like you need to get a lot of speed to be able to get over the middle part and then go down. So that's what makes it like kind of sketchy because like if you slip off, you're 
going really fast and you're going to bail really hard. Um, so for whatever reason, I was like, Oh, I'm going to just, I'm going to do that on my lunch break. <laughs> you know, I was like, uh, I have like five minutes left probably, but I'm just going to start trying this. And like, I got it almost first try on the first <laughs> one. I was like, Oh, I got it. Like, let's go. <laughs> I did not have it. Um, <laughs> dude, like the next try I was going so fast. I was like, Oh, I need to go faster. I was going so fast, but like to the point where like I was going fast and like when you hit the rail, it will slow you down a little bit, but I, like I had too much momentum going oh, forward. So yeah. I just hit it and I just like flung forward and I just like, so it's like, it's like a, um, it's the rainbow is like over a corner piece of concrete. Like it's almost like if it was like an L in the concrete. So there's like one, like it's, you it's right on one end and then it goes over like a dirt mound and then it goes takes you over to like the other side of the concrete on like the l and like i just like flew forward and i like slammed my hip and my knee um like into like the edge of the concrete <laughs> between the dirt and i was just like oh my god like it hurt really were you bad. wearing all your pads I was wearing no pads, dude. I was wearing my work clothes. I was wearing my work clothes. And like, it was kind of work? You don't have to be super formal for work, do you? No, I don't. But like, I had to wear like a collar and then like, oh, okay. I, and like, like, not like nice pants, but like, like khakis like, I, or something. Like khakis or like, it, it doesn't have to be like brown khakis, but it, it, it like, just like normal pants, like, not like baggy like, yeah. pants or anything. Um, but dude, so like, yeah, I get smoked on this rail <laughs> and like, and literally I was like, I had to get, like, I was, I had to like go like right then. Like I had like, once I was able to stand up, I was like, I have, I have to go back to work. Like I had to leave like right then. And like, it didn't like, so adult. <laughs> I know dude, it was crazy. And like, you're kind of like running on adrenaline, like when you slam into concrete, like really hard, you know, like I knew I didn't like break anything, but I was like, Oh my God, like, um, this is going to hurt really bad in like 10 minutes. So I was just like driving back to work. Part of my pants was like kind of muddy. I was like trying to like wipe it off, like in the car <laughs> while I was driving. And then like oh, I oh you drove oh wow he went out of right his outside. way no uh, yeah I thought I this was like right like... outside your right outside your no, office no no, no 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 yeah no no, no. <laughs> I don't skate in like the parking lot or anything I drove to like a um a skate park like it's probably like like 10, 15 minutes away on my lunch break and I'm just like driving <laughs> back and I'm fixing <laughs> yeah pretty much I mean it's crazy but like I it's honestly it's such a good way to spend your lunch break like if it's nice especially if it's nice outside like i don't know it's just like norm <laughs> and obviously not falling and like hurting yourself is not a good way to spend your lunch break but like if you don't fall and hurt yourself it's a good good it's a good time is that like, just like is that like a for like do you get like some exercise out of that like almost like a cardio or something yeah sort? oh my god no skateboarding is like really good exercise it's really good exercise like for real yeah yeah um but yeah i was driving back and just slowly starting to like feel my hip like tighten up oh dude like this hurts really bad <laughs> i was like get i was like limping like out of like by the time i like got parked in the parking lot got in my car i was like kind of limping and like i was just like playing it off like sitting at my desk in pain and then i asked my one coworker, i was like yo do you have advil or anything and she's like yeah is everything okay and then I had to explain the freaking story <laughs> that I was skateboarding <laughs> during my lunch break and that I fell really bad and like I need Advil or like I don't know. But it was it was funny, it was all good. <laughs> like they know I skateboard and stuff kinda, but like I don't think they really understand like getting hurt on your lunch break. <laughs> like that's probably a, a pretty foreign concept. Should write a song them. about it. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But I don't know. I thought it was funny. Like it's funny now. In the moment, I was like, "Oh my god, dude! Like I'm in so much pain, and they're expecting me to work right now." I, I considered it like like calling out sick, or not like or like going home sick. But like that's like hard to do in the age of COVID because people would be like, "Well, are you sick?" Yeah. And then I'd have to like tell them the story 
I don't know, I think they'd take that as like a valid excuse. They'd be like, especially when you were what? there all morning. And you were fine. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. So, Jake, I don't know. But. Jake's song's going to be like, if I skateboard all day and smoke <laughs> double. It does make you great, then, if that's the case. Can I go homesick then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just want to go back to the skate park. <laughs> I want to really ice my hip. hip. Dude, yeah, it was bad. It was, like, black and blue. It was, like, the most, it was, like, the most black and blue, like, my hip has ever been. But, yeah. like, nothing was, nothing was broken or anything. It was just your ego. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, concrete is hard. Doesn't have a lot of give to it. Did you grow the mustache for extra padding under your nose in case you fall? No, no, dude. You know, the funny thing is, is that, um, I recently got this like really nice like electric like razor type of thing like that so like you know I've just been like playing around like trimming stuff and like obviously not trimming some stuff like you know like I just have like the option so it's fun it's like technically like I could it, it, it's like the same um like it could completely like cut my hair too if I wanted it to like it gives you like all these different level razors but it also has like a bunch of them for facial hair and stuff Mm. so yeah it's cool I wish I forget what brand it is I don't know my brother got it on Amazon first and he's like yeah you gotta get this and I was like all right I'll do it good good investment it was only like 45 dollars I feel like it should have been solid yeah that was a pretty good deal so I want to um, stop shaving my cheeks and only shave down here and just start looking like a <laughs> like a civil war, like a civil war yeah, general. Dude. It looks dude, so how, when's, when's the last just time the mustache that goes straight into the the mustache or everything else? The mustache, just specifically. Um, mustache. Been over a year, maybe a year and a half now, maybe more. Do you trim it? Yeah. No, not really. Dude, that is that is a long time. I have to That's trim sick, mine. Though. If I don't trim mine, it'll literally grow over my mouth like this in a straight line. <laughs> That'll be That's awesome. Does, you should do you it. Just, you just have to. You just have to keep. That's why. Oh, you just you comb, comb it. it. Yeah. yeah, comb it. Yeah, you have to like let oh, it grow wish, like the sideways, pretty much. Word. It grows like twisting. fangs almost. Mine does. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I can see it kind of like it's starting to go to the side a little bit, like you know. Yeah, yours looks yours looks good, Jake. It's thick. Yeah, yours is coming in nice. Do you thank you? Yeah. I don't know. I mean like I the like I kind of was just like shaving. And I did I I, I do this a lot because I think it's like funny. Like I think mustaches just have, like I don't know. Like just something about them gives me like joy. They're hilarious. So like I'll like <laughs> yeah. even like even like I just like even like if I was gonna shave completely, I would shave everything first bought the mustache and then i'd be like look at myself in the mirror for like a minute and be like ah, and then i'd shave it but, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> but this time i decided to keep it i was like yo I'm keeping it. like <laughs> i will it. do that yeah. i will do that but the must like something whenever i have a mustache when i look at myself in the mirror something in my brain says you should keep this it looks not good but like <laughs> just keep it and then just, i'll shave yeah. it i'll shave it how many months later and i'll see a picture of myself with the mustache i'll be like what was i thinking but then I just it the cycle just starts up again. Yeah, I'm um, I'm pro I'm pro mustache at this point, definitely. I always pro stash pod. I, pro when stash I was a kid, pod. when I was a kid, I just dreamed about growing a mustache, growing a beard, and then like styling it. We, so I think dude, it's awesome. we should we should start a we should start a podcast where we just critique other people's mustaches. But see, I feel like I don't know enough about like the people get I, the oils and groom it. Like I no, don't know yeah, I mean it. I don't I don't, I don't know think enough you, about we it. Could, <laughs> We can learn as we go. I feel right. like you know, it's just like they have those competitions every year about the best mustache. Yeah, but I feel like that's so like um, those are crazy. It's so subjective, you know. Like what makes what tr- like you know why why are we assigning one? Oh, look you're saying to we should. Mustache? I've seen you're some saying... crazy stuff, man. I've seen some dude like literally like shaped his mustache and beard hair like into like a bird cage around his head. <laughs> I mean, but that I feel like almost it takes on a form beyond a mustache at that point. Like that's yeah, that's people, awesome. people else, get like, know, like super duper crazy with it. I've yeah, seen... like me and like me and you, Eric, have mustaches, but that's like 
that's yeah that's he created a ha- he created a habitat dude like for, I, for animals, I saw someone on they his had face, someone you know? had hair and a beard and they shaved it to look like they were wearing a football helmet but it was their hair <laughs> That's art, right? There. But I think I think sure. what you were saying, Jake, was like we should go out and recognize just the people with like modest facial hair that they just look good. Yeah, just like solid facial hair. I like that idea. Like, like nothing, that. anything crazy, you know. Like we're not talking like, you know, like that level where like you know you're designing like stuff on your face, but you know, just like recognizing a good stash when when someone's got one, you know, like Eric. Eric's got a good stash. Yo, maybe, maybe what I'll do. Real maybe... recognize real. <laughs> real <laughs> recognize real, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go on the Shark Club Instagram story and say, send us pictures of your facial hair and we'll rate it on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude, that would be really funny. We should do that. I'm down. I'm down the ransom. Hey, hey, since since like, you've no... been recording. Oh, sorry. You keep, keep, keep going, Jake. Oh, I was going to say, like, no hard feelings. Like, we'll just, like, rate. Like, we don't. We're not facial hair experts, you know. So let us roast our, you. <laughs> let us roast your facial hair this coming Sunday. Hey Russ, since you're recording all this, do you want to drop this uh, either before or after as like a little like bonus? Like I bonus didn't even realize kind of like or either edit it into the podcast that we do on Sunday. Dude, I didn't even realize it was record it just like, records by default. First try. <laughs> Let's do this. I can Instead of putting a song at the end, I could say, oh, we chatted a little bit. Here's just extra conversation. This is just real. <laughs> the podcast is just us shooting this shit, but this is definitely us just is shooting genu- this shit. This is, is genuine like, no, shit. <laughs> I don't think we've talked about music once. Like, if you if you've ever wanted to hear us just talk about absurd topics, it's, <laughs> this, you got it. You got your fix. Yeah, that's, a, that's an awesome idea, Eric. Good looks. I didn't realize I was recording. Cool. I thought you were doing it on purpose. No, sometimes I think I just have it as a setting to automatically start recording because if if it uh, doesn't, I'll forget, forget for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I would do. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, you had this great conversation. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, no, you didn't record like it. <laughs> I the modern day version of leaving the lens on the camera. <laughs> Recreate it. Oh, dude, I forgot to press record. Or I, I guess that would be the same thing in this situation because it's recording but like for podcast <laughs> zoom in how, how do you record over zoom is that like just like an option like that's yeah there's an option easy. at the bottom to press rec- so i'm the host of this meeting because i put it together i have an option to record oh. it and then um you can go to the zoom website and download the video and audio and stuff okay then we just throw okay. that bad boy in premiere chop it up nice and good and put it on the youtube yeah. and spotify nice nice that's cool man oh you just discovered chat yeah oh dude the chat's keep my message (laughs) kind of a groundbreaking message i I just said hey (laughs) hey you look so sharp (laughs) oh my because it shows up my my facebook picture you know that (laughs) was fun fact about that picture um that's high school right no, 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 no. Um, so that picture was taken in the Dominican Republic. Um, it was for when Alex Palavota's mom got remarried. Oh, my family went. Yeah, it's so actually that photo. I it's funny. I cropped the the original photo. It's like me, Ben Gilbert, and Alex. Like we all have like our arms around each other, and we're all dressed in like like nice like like dress stuff for uh alex's mom's wedding but i cropped them out of the photo to make that my facebook profile picture (laughs) (laughs) but yeah the original photo it's like the three of us at this like hotel or something yeah good times man that was a fun trip and beautiful wedding it was really hot though it was really really hot what a beautiful wedding what a beautiful wedding says the bridesmaid (laughs) oh man Yes, but what a shame. Sorry, you, you said beautiful wedding, so it's, it's oh, just... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just... What what music have you guys been listening to lately? This, this is our <laughs> one music talk. I've been trying to get into Slayer a little bit. Dude, Slayer, Slayer is sick. 
I was yeah, nice. They, they, they really are. I, didn't, I never realized how <laughs> sick they were. It's 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 awesome. Russ, do you have any other like eighties metal you recommend? Um, off top of my head, no. I mean, if you're just looking for reference, try the Big Four. So that's Slayer, okay. Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax. Okay. Um, that's probably a good place to start. I like because like, obviously that that sound isn't super polished. It's like way over distorted and stuff. And I really like the new Metallica stuff because the recording is so crystal clear. But um, mm-hmm. that's where Thrash started with the Big Four. Sick. Okay. What yeah, I'm not say? like, oh, um, you know, it's kind of been like, right? It's kind of been like all over the place. Um, I'm trying to think. I was really into like the new Phoebe Bridgers album for a while. Mm. It was good. Um, yeah, it was really good. And then what else? I like the little like three songs, the three song EP The Obsessives put out. I really like that. Oh, I still have to listen to that. Yeah, no, it's you really were telling good. Me about I, it. You were yeah, me about I thought, it. yeah, I, I really liked it. Um, and then what else? Like, I mean, I really liked like the new Slaughter Beach Dog album that came out, but that was yeah, like was in good. December. Yeah. I feel like that was. Um, I'm trying to like, what have I been listening to lately? I oh, dude, been consuming anything. The new like Drake came out with like three songs. Oh yeah, pretty is that good, good too? They're catchy. Yeah, no, they're catchy. They're pretty good. Um, what else? What else have I been listening to? Oh, dude, uh, Iron Sheik is good. We were just talking about that. Um, I know, I, I know, Jake, dude. You all telling us about telling us yeah, about that. Yeah, dude. Well, so when we were when we were mixing on Thursday with Ethan, somehow they came up, um, mm. and like I was like, oh, I forgot about them. I gotta start listening to them again. So I've been listening to them a lot. Um, I was really into, um, like the old Sidekick stuff for a little bit it's good oh, i don't think i've listened to ch- 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 yeah no i had only really listened the, the to happiness hours yeah happiness so hours is really good yeah but they, only their early stuff is good too yeah but i was i was i started listening to the i really like the the album that came out with before happiness hours like that was really good i thought um what, what else kind of just like random stuff here and there but like those are like things like that i've been like really into lately i feel like um whenever you guys get a chance i did i put that story up on the shark club thing if you want you don't have to share it but if you do we might get more people to respond <laughs> post the picture of your facial hair no they'll send it to the dm and then i'll see if i can like i can like share my screen on zoom and we can review that way maybe oh dude that would be cool yeah okay and eric if i do put this at the end of the podcast and in the podcast we didn't talk about mustaches it's because nobody played along and nobody listens to the instagram (laughs) it's like dude it's like yeah we we have this whole plan and no one no one (laughs) sent us a picture of their facial (laughs) like not even one person like we like one person we could review it we just we literally just got one right now like as you said that, I'm getting the notifications. Oh, you're right. We literally just got one. You're right. <laughs> awesome. Right, well, so then we'll have one. We'll have one person to review. Awesome. So that's cool. We we can't review it right now. I don't want to know who it is yet. No, we I wanna, won't. We won't. I want to. I want to find out in the moment on Sunday. Yeah, keep them all. I won't even look at them. I'll share the picture though. I'll, <laughs> I'll see what that can do. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, I need I need to between now and Sunday, I need to figure out what my standards are for uh, good and bad facial hair. <laughs> hey, I had never for, I had never really formed an opinion yet. What's up? Do you have an opinion on death metal or black metal? What was it, Eric? I don't really I don't really know the difference. To be I, I mean, honestly, yeah, I I'm like I'm not into I'm not into metal at all. Like I like screamo stuff, but like I feel like that's different than metal. You know, like. Like, I like when people scream a little bit in a song. I think that's really cool. But that's, like, that's not metal necessarily. I don't really like metal. Unpopular opinion. (laughs) So I pick neither. I I brought it up because somebody somebody on the podcast, they asked 
what do we, which which do we prefer and i said what's the difference he's like if you have to ask that then you don't deserve to answer the yeah, question yeah i don't i mean dude i couldn't tell you the difference I, honestly i don't really like listen I, I don't even really listen to metallica at all you know metallica i'm honestly i'm only into metallica for the riffs they're sick dude. and like enter enter sandman is metallica right yeah Okay, so like, yeah, I know that song. And the like, Lou Reed oh. album. <laughs> the Lou Reed album. Oh my god, that's something else. Yeah, but like, I, that's like my exposure to metal, and I'm fine with it being just that. <laughs> I don't know. So, I don't know. But I like, I like when we when we play metal at the end of. Uh, like game theory right? or not game theory what is, that's what a metallica is. song metallica yeah yeah I like best that. for whom the bell tolls look it up yeah yeah we could no, definitely like play that. we can do more than just the first minute we could do a that master, whole intro we've done sequence. master puppets we've done master of puppets too yeah no we could learn Flat that. bass style <laughs> yeah that's so sick dude when you pull that off you're so sick bro when you pull everything off <laughs> oh shucks you're just, dude. If you're sick, stay home, man. <laughs> if you're sick, stay home. I think I'm gonna get going now because I do have to transfer laundry into the dryer before I fall oh. asleep. Which no, if, I, if I don't do that soon, it's just never gonna get done. And you need to send me your audio, please. Oh shit, you're right for the intro. I will yeah, do for the that intro. I go downstairs. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, dude. Well, well I apologize for guys. the delay. That we can no, do the problem. No, I'm, I'm glad glad to I'm shoot glad the shit we... for a bit, honestly. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. Glad I got to see you guys for a little bit. It's yeah, just me like too. Ending um, the podcast like right now just would have been a bummer, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, totally, totally. See well, sun- I mean so now. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday at three, three p.m. Sunday at three. Yeah, we'll we'll shoot for that. Uh, yeah, Which and I'll send reminders. I'll send reminders so everyone's on the same page. And if anything comes up. Eric, if anything comes up, Jake, if anything comes up, don't be shy about it. We'll figure out. No, I should be good, dude. It was it was honestly like really random that I had to stay late at work. No, it's all good. It happens, man. It happens. It happens. I'm just again. I'm just. I know you're kind of looking forward to it, so I apologize it didn't work out for tonight. No, no, it's all good. I mean, yeah. I was looking forward to it too. I didn't mean it to sound. We're doing it. No, no, no. It's all good. Like Sunday. All of our mustaches will be longer on Sunday, dude. It's true. (laughs) Yeah, you know what? Yeah. A couple more days. I might even. I might even trim the sides between now and Sunday, so it's like even more. Okay. You know. Hell yeah! Watch out. (laughs) Very sick. Watch out. Hey. Can I Watch guys out. have a wonderful see day tomorrow and a night tonight? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good night, guys. See, nice see you. See you. Guys. We're gonna mix on Thursday, so I'll see you then. Oh yeah, that's true. Peace. Bye.